Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore and this is the Genius of Sapphiros V. I'm just going to call it Genius of Sapphiros from now on. In any case, uh, the only thing I changed off screen was the formation. Um, I'm still staying with Trickster, but I'm having Rainbow in front since she has the highest defense. Um, hopefully she'll tank. Um, supposedly, the if the percent percents I've been seeing on um, guides and stuff is correct. Supposedly it's not even the front slot that gets the most aggro, but whatever. I'm just gonna go with this. Alright, Scarvel Scarlet Devil Mansion, let's go. Ah! That was close. This won't do. Gatekeepers such as myself can't go dozing off on the job like that. The mistress has entrusted me with the gr grand role of the uh, the lock of the De Scarlet Devil Mansion. I have to get it together and do my job. Uh, but this is a problem. I get sleepy when nothing's going on like this. No, don't do it, Mailing. The mistress has entrusted me with the great role of. We made it. Oh my. I'm not familiar with this region yet. This is all new, so new ex and exciting. Let's not stand around and chat. We're going straight to Romelia so we can beat her up. But first, but first we'll have to deal with... Oh, it seems the gatekeeper is sleeping. Maybe she she's worn herself out. Pretty sure that ain't the, the case. She's a slacker for sure. Whether she's asleep or not, Whatever, it doesn't matter either way. Come on, we're going in. Bah! When do you intruders show up? Is this Sa uh, Sakia's power at play? Splendid work today, ma'am. Oh, why thank you. Wait a second, that won't work on me. Tch. Even taking into account who you are, I can't allow you all to trespass any further. And as for you, Marissa, yeah, you trespass into the mansion far too often. As the lock of the, of the Scarlet Devil Mansion, it's about time I teach you a lesson. What are you on about? I always come as Petcholi's self-proclaimed guest. Ugh, enough already. I couldn't care less about any of this. If you're going to get in our way, we'll remove you by force, Gatekeeper. That's just cruel, Reimu. I can't believe you're calling me Gatekeeper when we're so well acquainted. That's right, you're being rude, Reimu. So, what is her name? China. Oh. None of you care about my name in the, in the least, do you? Huh? What? My name is... Enough, this is leading nowhere. Prepare yourself. Wah! Alright, it's been a while since we've done any of this. Alright. Oh, so, the, the little... I'm hitting support, but we don't actually have a support character yet. Generally, a full-size party is five, main, uh, five frontliners and one support. But uh, since we don't get Biak uh, Biakarin and um, uh, Moko for free anymore, um, we're just going to have to do an actual four-person party here. All right. I can do... So unfortunately, a lot of um, Marissa spells require ridiculous amounts of MP. But we can do regular Jamaku. Betray allies. Okay, I'm assuming that lets me target my own people. Tengu Cutter. Okay, so I was just going to see weaknesses in that nonsense. Ignores the defense, 30%. Ignores the defense, 40%. The recovery one. That doesn't tell me anything. Okay. Sorry, it's been a long time, and I'm dealing with these new controls here. I 
We're just gonna. Uh, we'll do. Uh, we'll do Sky Serpent. Oh wow, that's. All right, nine damage. Wow. Well, you we should be able to kill with just this now. All right. Get an achievement for that. Also, I believe if you play on easy, you don't get achievements. At least that's what I've heard, but I didn't confirm it. All right. Also, something to note about experience. Um, as you level up, um, the areas you, you fight in will be worth less and less experience as you out-level out it. Uh, to the point where it eventually goes down to about 10% XP gain. Anyway, uh, so that's all we need there. Um, so we do have experience points, which are for leveling up, and then I believe power is for power points, which is for the uh, skill trees. Uh, how cruel. I'm sorry, Miss China. You were you were a crucial sacrifice in the resolution of, of this incident. Forgive us, China. My, my name is... Come on, let's hurry inside already. I hope there's a big scoop waiting for us inside. I can't wait. Oh, poor Mei Ling. Ay ay ay. The front entrance is locked. Locking herself inside, is she? Looks like Vermilia really is our culprit. Hey, doesn't this mean China's locked out? Mistress, how cruel. Aren't I the lock of the Scarlet Devil Mansion? Oh. Huh? Did I hear something just now? Are you... Sure, you're not just imagining things? Who cares about any of that? Now, what do we do? We can't get inside like this. Aren't there any other entrances? I've got a special one uh, ready for just this kind of occasion. Where is it? If you go along the fence, the library has an, a, a, sorry, has a secret emergency e exit. A secret exit? If it's a, if it's secret, how, why do you know about it, Marissa? I just kind of found it during my time as a guest. Just how often do you sneak in there? The Scarlet Devil Mansion Serial Burglar strikes again! This will make for a great scoop. Please let me interview you sometime. Okay, that's enough of this. Let's go find this emergency exit or whatever. It's a doghouse. This is it! And just where is this emergency exit? It's right under that doghouse. The doghouse? Why'd they put a doghouse on it? Beats me, because it's supposed to be secret e a, se a secret exit, I guess. But won't the doghouse block them from getting out? Just what are the residents here thinking? Hmm, wait a second, do they even have a dog here? Beats me. I've never seen one before. Neither have I. Anyway, this thing sure is shoddy, isn't it? The mansion's, well, a, a mansion, so they ought to build a better doghouse to match. That's That vampire is surprisingly stingy. Either way, we won't be able to get inside without moving it. You're right on that. Let's get this dock shack out of, out of the way and keep moving. Wow. So this is the Great Library of the Scarlet Devil Mansion. I've heard so much about it. I've never seen such a huge library, not even outside Gensokia. Hmm, this is a bother. I want to just apprehend Remilia and get this over with, so it sucks uh, that we ha we have to make a detour through here. You're certainly right. The air is always so stuffy. I don't understand the books. And there, and there probably aren't any scoops to be found, so I'd like to get through here quickly. What'd you just say? This library is a storehouse of, uh, a storehouse of stuff of witch for witches. I mean, I visit all the time, too. Did I just hear that right? The motives of the Scarlet Devil Mansion serial burglar are revealed. Precious tomes from the witch's storehouse plundered. I've got to write this down. Plundered? Come on, that's rude. I just borrowed this place's books. Yeah, yeah, I've heard enough of this. Let's cut the chit-chat and keep moving. Alright, so game uses autosaves. Got it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Besides autosaves, you can mainly say, uh save by pressing L and R in the menu. However, if you close the game and resume later, you'll resume from outside the dungeon you were inside of, of when you load. Okay. Cool. Uh, how do I close this? Uh, tutorials. Okay. These will appear in the Hucker Shrine. That's fine. Thank you. Which 
position staff. In the equipment menu, you can equip stuff. Besides accessories, defensive items like shields and armor have sizes. Uh, their order is LMS, uh, and characters can equip items belonging to their size tier or smaller. Items with their size listed as dash can be equipped by anyone. In addition, some items can only be equipped by specific characters. Uh, as for weapons, each character can equip their specific uh, character-specific weapon, as well as three types of the five different generic weapon types. Uh, each weapon has an assigned type of either slash, stab, or strike, making them effective against uh, different foes, so swap out appropriately. Duplicate equipment. You can only have one copy of a piece of equipment at a time in this game. If a piece of equipment drops from an enemy, it won't drop again as long as you still possess it. Okay. So you either have to, like, break it down or sell it at that point. So this thing just has higher attack, it looks like. Is it really just higher attack? But also... We did have stuff for stabs. Yeah, you can increase your magic attack with that. So what we can do is put a point into this. And then change it. But before we do that, sorry, getting I'm still getting used to the menus. Um, okay, anyone? So Rainbow could use stats, but I don't really care about that. Okay, so this is definitely for uh, Marissa. So with this, yeah. So now since I swapped the stats, uh, swapped to the uh, specialization of the staff, I now actually get a buff to this and more MP. So we will take this for now. Of course, we're currently... It does increase our max MP, but unfortunately, uh, that's about it. Hey, practice sword. All right, we already know about you. So that is just a flat buff. Single target attack that strikes first, okay. Anyone else use swords? Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. You do. Okay, so I and Raymu can use swords. I don't think it's gonna be. It is an increase for you, but it debuffs your magic, but it increases accuracy and speed. And this actually lowers speed. All right, I think uh, Raymu should use this. I mean, the the bad part, the, I guess, the bonus for purification rod is the fact that you can ignore defense. But we don't know how much defense any of these enemies have, so I don't think it matters that much. Also, better accuracy and speed, I think I can live with. And she's in the front anyway, so we'll just do this. All right. Okay, so that's a. Uh... Practice axe? Okay, who can use axes? Not you. Sunne can use axes. Aya cannot. Or Aya can as well. Alright. So, crazy bounce, uh, crazy buff to attack, but that's about it. What if I give it to you, Sunne? You lose a bunch of magic, but you can then hit things. It also ignores the, some defense. All right, I can I can play with that. Uh, augmentation for Sene. All right. So yeah, we can customize as we go. Also, this buff level thing is not even useful right now. So for now, let's just increase our speed. And while I'm at it, I need to look up this, whatever this does, uh, details. Okay, so that just does... Alright, so this just does damage. This just recovers HP. Okay, so we have, we just, we have health recovery, but we don't really have any buffs yet. 
Okay. Onwards with this. Let's just wail on you with violence. Good. We did it. We won the game. Resources. When a battle ends, your HP will be fully restored and you'll recover from permanent. You'll also revive if you have lives remaining. However, your MP, bombs, and lives will stay as they were. To recover them, you'll have to either leave the dungeon momentarily or step in a magic circle in a dungeon or at the Hakari Shrine to fully recover. Okay. Not a problem. So yeah, we're just going to stick with auto-attacking for a bit. Okay. We got outsped by one of them. Can I use it? Oh wait, I forgot. You recover HP after every battle. Practice spear. You can use spears. You can use spears. You can use spears. Everyone can use spears. So, real quick. I believe it's the same for everybody. It is. Okay. Equipment. Magician staff. Tengu fan. So, I lose a little bit of speed, but I gain everything else. And I can't use a shield while equipped with this. Okay. I'm kind of okay with that. Alright, Tingu Spear, get. One down. Ouch. As long as we don't die, it's fine. Hey, one up. Oh, right, lives is a thing, isn't it? So yeah, we're going to fight everything just so we can get uh, leveled up. Yeah, we're still at the... Alright. So we still need to get things down here. Usually they'll have some ways to get like shortcuts open and stuff like that. Oh, wow. Also, they don't always drop power, apparently. Practice dagger. I don't think anyone really cares about that. I'm assuming... Okay, Marissa and Sene can equip. But I don't think I want to. Eh, lots more accuracy. And speed. Um, definitely don't want it on you because I'll lose magic. Let's stick with a practice axe. Cold Inferno, Sleep Beak, and Healing Miracle. So there's a limit of how many skills we can have equipped, that's fine. Deals water damage. 50% chance of flicking sleep. Oh, I see. That heals prominence. So, oh, we only have one character that can actually heal. Good to know. So, our shortcut's open. 
Pretty sure that's progression. Um, one thing I was a little curious about was the ladder back here. Let's see if that actually takes us anywhere. And in fact, it does. shield. So we have a large shield that no one can equip. Uh, all of our sizes are M or lower. Shields can be pretty fancy in this game, because they can literally block what they say they block. Which can help out a lot for tanking. But, again, I don't really remember any of the details. I like... Yeah, so I think... Yeah, I think Sané is in the position where she's actually supposed to get attacked the most. Which is kind of funny. So you know what, with that in mind... Our defense is that. Okay, you have the same defense. Yeah, let's switch the formation. Do something like that, maybe. See if that helps. I mean, it's either that or we're just rolling fantastic. Alright. And unlike other games, uh, leaving the screen doesn't cause anything to respawn. Oh yeah, we also have new armor. Skill cooldowns. The term cooldown refers to a number of of turns where you're unable to use a skill, the skill's cooldown will be displayed in the skills menu as well as in its in-battle description. Furthermore, when you use a spell, car spell card, all spell cards, not just the one that was used, will be unusable for turns equal to its cooldown. Last spells work the same way too. Plan timing your, uh, for using spell cards and last spells before using them. You don't tell me what to do. Let me guess, that armor was... yep large. It would be use that armor would be useful if we had Mocha, but uh, we don't have Mocha. Yeah, okay, so yeah, it is it is what the guide said. That bottom slot is the the high amount of attack. Also poison is really painful apparently. Hello. Alright. Let's keep going. I'll open that. Yeah, we definitely want to grab the chest as we go, because we need gear. Hello. Ooh. Can you, can you uh... You can help out with that, I guess. So I believe that full we got uh, gives us a temporary buff, and it can be stacked multiple times. Not really something useful, 
because regular battles don't last that long. And boss battles, you generally don't have that many minions. Alright, we now have gear that actually matters. So, lose a little bit of resistance, get plus two that. So you can't equip it. You can, though. That's plus... So I lose only... I lose... Ma oh, magic defense. Okay, so there's resistance and magic defense. I think resistance is probably for status effects. That is my assumption. That affects evasion. So we could go with this to be a little bit more tanky. We'll of course lose a lot of our uh, evasion, but I'm not relying on evasion. I play enough games to, to know the dangers of relying on evasion. All right, uh, so there's a door down there. Cloth close. So that's just a flat improvement, isn't it? It is. Alright. Let's go ahead and give this to Sine since she's in the front. I'm assuming the key is probably the direction we're supposed to go. I huh, wonder what the, where the key for this chest is at. Small shield, medium. Alright. So, everyone else can equip it. So, yeah, the way this shield works is it doesn't directly increase your stats, but anytime you successfully uh, block whatever the, it can actually block, um, it applies these sorts of stats to it. So this has a block rate of 40%, and it works for any slash, stab, or strike. So it works on anything but magic. So we'll put this on Reimu. Doing better. And we got our first power. Alright, let's make use of that. Absorb MP when hit with magic. That does sound nice. I don't know how often I'm going to get hit with that type of stuff, but that's okay. Let's go magic for now. I'm trying to find ways to just raw boost our raw stats for now. That's kind of the plan here. Alright, Sine, you have the axe, don't you? So let's put this. This will increase our accuracy and damage. And also gets us a skill. And then here, we can, you're using a spear, correct? Yes. So five physical attack will now become 10 attack and accuracy. And then here we're using swords. Let's go ahead and drop this, grab this. And then, you know, add Stun Blow, which is an actual physical attack. And cause Paralysis. That Leg Sweep, which can do... Uh, flex Quick, which I don't understand what that is. And we got Falcon Slash, which is just a 999 speed attack, so it's just a quick, quick attack we can do. For Science. Yeah, so that, that sound effect, I think you might have saw uh, Raymond Flash there, that was her blocking. And uh, 
getting an extra, you know, 20 something defense definitely uh, helps a bit. Also, leveling up does increase our max MP, but it doesn't actually increase our current MP. So we may need to do something about that. Not sure how well, well we'll do against Koakuma right now. Thirty-two damage. Holy cow! All right. Netflix freeze ten percent of the time. Uh, we'll do cold inferno. All right. You have actual uh, healing, correct? Sleep will work on you, but we'll try. Jeez, you're heading twice now. Well, nearly took out Marissa. word. So what's this do? I can't look it up, can I? Okay, that was defend. Oh, so it definitely raises all stats. We will do that. Cost no MP. Actually, just do a regular t uh... regular attack. There we go. Iron ore, which is a material. Cool. Can I go in the swimming, swimming pool? No. Alright, uh, let me go ahead and call it here. And uh, we'll continue in a bit. So I'm the Depressed Eeyore. This was uh, the genius of Sapphiros. And I'll see you guys next time.